let me show you how we're going to configure Logger Pro. First of all, let me get it. When we fire it up, you get a blank display. It's got um, tables, X and Y. You can type in your data, and you'll get a graph here. But then, when we plug the sensor in, you'll see it will detect that there's a voltage sensor connected, and it starts reading out the potential in real time down here. Now, you'll notice it's not zero. The sensor is actually not, not reading at zero. And so what I need to do is connect these two ends together, and that's going to be zero potential difference between them. So this is a calibration step. And then we go up to experiment zero. And that will set the potential. It just doesn't offset. And so now you'll see it's very nearly zero. It's dancing around little fluctuations around zero, but it's essentially zero. The other thing we need to do is change the sampling rate. So I go to experiment data collection. And you'll see the, the default is to collect data for 15 seconds. And that's too long for what we need at a sampling rate of 10 samples every second. So that's, in fact, I think what's happening now is, is every tenth of a second it's reading a new reading. Well, in order to see what's going on while the magnets are dropping, we need a much higher sampling rate. This is how many times every second the voltage is measured and then recorded. So we're going to go up to 1,000 samples per second. And you'll see there's a warning that Logger Pro can't do that. Actually, it's the Lab Pro does not have enough memory to do 15,000 samples, but we don't need 15 seconds. In fact, we'll go back to just five seconds will be enough. Um, and so that's a sample every 0 0.001 seconds for five seconds or 5,000 total samples. And if you ever start Logger Pro up again, you'll need to uh, correct that and uh, make that setting. But now, now we're ready to go. So we can unhook the, the uh, wires and connect them to the probe and connect them to the wires on the tube.